It's just their way to try to work the system to, to get a check. And that local realtor wants to make sure new homeowners are not throwing away money. He says home buyers can be easy targets for people trying to make a quick buck. And now he's warning people what to look out for. Fox 43's Jackie DeTore joins us now to explain. New homeowners have to sign plenty of documents and they're getting mail left and right. Your county realtor says not all of that paperwork is necessary though. Fox 43 finds out what's real and what's not. A warning for new homeowners. As soon as you sign your name uh, to buy a home, it's guaranteed you're going to be getting at least one to half a dozen pieces of mail uh, that are looking for you to spend money where you shouldn't be. Adam McAllister is a realtor with McAllister and Myers Real Estate Services in York. He says clients tell him all the time about mail or emails they get shortly after moving into a new home. One typically has to do with some important paperwork. Send company X a check for anywhere from $65 up to $185, and that amount can always change uh, for a copy of your deed. McAllister says this isn't a scam because these companies will send you a deed. The problem here is you already paid for a deed in your closing. It just takes anywhere from a month to three months to get that paperwork from the county courthouse. What this company or what these groups are doing are trying to prey on that time period where you don't have it yet. And if you did want a copy of your deed for whatever Whatever reason, you can pay for it yourself in person at your county courthouse. McAllister says another thing to look out for after you move in is mail that looks like it's from a homeowner's insurance company, but not the one you signed up for. It's tricky though because it could have your name, address, and even around the price you paid for your homeowner's insurance. By that point in time, you've already have homeowner's insurance and it's already been paid for. Otherwise, you wouldn't have got to the closing table to get the keys. The realtor says it can be confusing figuring out what's real and what's not when you're dealing with all of this paperwork. So if you have a question, call your real estate agent. They're not just there to get you into a house and, and be tour guide. Um, regardless of what they show on HGTV, they are truly there to protect you. Besides your realtor, you can check with a title company, insurance company, or even the county courthouse if you get any piece of mail that's confusing before you send out any money. And also a reminder that when you buy a home, it is part of public record, which is why so many of these scammers can get your information and it's pretty easily available for mm -hmm. them to go get that. So that's why so many new homeowners are getting all of that mail coming to them because it's pretty easy to look up a new name and a new address. So, as yeah. I mentioned, check with your real estate agent. Mm -hmm. They should be able to help you sift through that. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you as a fairly long time homeowner, mm -hmm. it doesn't stop. No. Mm -hmm. It continues to come every mm -hmm. week, more and more mail, people trying to get you to buy or do something. So. And also now they are able to send emails as well. So that's another thing that some of this stuff is coming in by. You just got to be aware of it. If something, if anything seems weird and it's not the name that you originally signed up for, keep a list of your original documents, check those, and then check with someone who does it for a living and knows what they're talking Good about. Good advice. And if you have a story you want me to look into, Fox 43 wants to find out. Let me know. Send me a message on Facebook or shoot me an email at Fox 43 finds out at Fox43.com.